Hello, Frida here. The last video I just finished spinning the singles and now it's time to ply. I choose to do a two ply yarn from each end of a center pull ball. So I'm winding up the yarn on a yarn winder. When I take the yarn off, I preserve the structure by putting the yarn ball on a simple toilet paper roll. Make sure not to lose the ends. Time to ply. Connect the two ends to the leader and start plying. Remember to switch directions on your wheel. This wool was spun clockwise and is now plied counterclockwise. Have a look at the yarn now and then to make sure it's to your liking. Remember to check on the bobbin where the yarn is finished. I'm using my trusty mini spinner, Mrs. Fairfax, named after a character in the novel Jane Eyre. She gets things done. I have to show you the magical place where I get to spin. When you have finished plying the yarn, you take it off the spinning wheel and make a skein either on a knitty noddy, a swift or a skein winder. They can all look a little different. Be sure to tie the skein in three or four places to keep it all organized. Time for the final washing. Use warm water to get rid of any grease from your hands or lanolin still left in the wool. I use an eco-friendly wool wash. Gently place your yarn skein in the water and make sure it's all submerged. Let it soak for about 20 minutes. Move the yarn about a bit to make sure any dirt comes loose. Find a tie and then carefully squeeze the water out. Rinse in clean water of the same temperature. Handle the yarn carefully so you don't felt it. Let's soak for another 20 minutes.
gently shake the yarn a bit to get the last of the detergent out. Find the tie again and carefully squeeze the water out. Repeat if necessary. Straighten out the skein, making sure all the threads are in the right place. Snap the skein between your hands a bit. And then comes the fun part. Smack it against the sink. Fairly aggressively, shifting the skein so you get a new place each turn. This even out the twist and defines each strand of yarn. Hang to dry and then a beautiful hank of hand spun yarn. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, comment and subscribe. That would mean so much to me. See you next time!